Hey guys, Rusto Mac here, and this is my first video in my series of tutorials for Python, the programming language. These tutorials are aimed towards beginners and people who have never programmed before and want to learn Python as their first programming language. Now let's get started. When we open up Python, we notice that we have opened up the Python shell. Now in the Python shell, we are able to run and execute programs, write them as well, but we are not able to save programs. This is why I recommend going to File, New Window, and in this new window we are able to write programs as well as save them, but not execute them. Now once you want to execute a program, you simply go to Run and Run Module, or just push F5. Now once you have a new window open, um, you can start writing programs and that's the next step. Let me open up a program for you guys that I wrote earlier this year. Um, the program that I will be opening up is a simple conversion calculator. It converts um, Celsius to Fahrenheit and this is just a very simple one that just uses the Python shell to run and execute the program. Um, let me just run it for you guys so you can see how it works. Now notice when I ran it nothing happened except for this restart came up and a few lines just entered. Now what I did was I defined the program up here as C2F with the parents and I capitalized it as well. That means um, this program is in the Python shell archive and all I need to do is recall it or bring it out. So what I do is I just type in the program name and I push enter. Now the program starts to run and it asks me a question or demands an answer I guess, an input enter degrees in Celsius. So let's just put 23 and on the next line it says 23 Celsius equals 73.4 Fahrenheit. Now we can just run this program as many times as we want just by typing it in like so or going up to the line above and pushing enter. Let me finish this one and just go up here push enter and you can run it again. Okay now that we have seen how the program runs we can try to write them. Um, you can see my format right here and you should try to follow it as strictly as possible because Python is very strict with um, its indentations, its spacings, its little punctuation marks as well and it's case sensitive. Now on the first line we see define which is defining the whole function and everything following it on this indentation line that would um, this imaginary indentation line anything to the right of it would be considered in this program on the second line we see Celsius right here and we see Celsius is in black that means Celsius is a variable um, next we see this equal sign and anytime you see an equal sign there's two times you will see an equal sign there's once or there's when you see it twice like that. Um, when you see it once you know that there's going to be a variable and it's equaling something else. Now we can see here that Celsius equals this stuff to the right of this to the right of this um, equal sign. And we can see that input is in purple. That means input is a function, a built-in function or a command and simply it is asking the user to enter degrees in Celsius. We can see that right there. And this is in green. When something is in green, we know that it will be shown exactly as it is on the screen when you execute the program right here, enter degrees in Celsius. Next, we can see the semicolon, and that just means go on to the next line. We can see the same thing on the third line as the second line we can see that Fahrenheit is a variable and it equals this. 
Now we know that Celsius is a new variable right here. In Celsius, this continues to run down, so whatever the user put in right after this, Celsius now equals. So let's say that we put in for the first one was 23. So now Celsius equals 23, and we would run the program like so. On the fourth line, we see that this is the output. Now for the output, we can see this print function. And the print function simply means that it will not necessarily print, but it will bring up it will bring up the output for you to see visually. Now we can see it says print Celsius, the variable, so it will print out whatever number the user inputted, which was for us 23. Now it'll print out this string, which is exactly how it will look. So we can see here, Celsius equals. Next, we can see Fahrenheit, the variable. And make sure you leave these commas in and everything is the exact same format. And then we can see Fahrenheit. And that's a very simple program. You can um, you can easily make it yards to meters, um, inches to centimeters, however you want to do it. Kelvins to Celsius. Okay, now that we know the basic notation of a program, let me open up another program that uses more complicated um, commands. Um, let's go to one that uses um, ifs and elses, or elifs. <clears throat> now these functions are very, um, they're very handy the ifs, elifs, and elses. They're very handy. Now what they do is they they simply um, they read what the user inputs and sees if it's true to the choice. Now let's say the user up here inputs 3. It will just run through until the variable equals 3 and right here we see the double equal sign that means true so if choice one is equal or if if choice is true to one then we run this program right here and notice how we just go through all the steps and make sure you have your notation like mine again and notice in this program, I am running programs within other programs. Um, my first example is this display menu program, which I wrote right up here. And you are able to do that. <clears throat> Write a program and then recall it within another program. And so in my define display menu program, it simply just prints out all these numbers and essentially this menu. And then people can choose which one they want out of this menu, and then it runs whatever program they have chosen. And underneath, I have all my conversion programs. And I think most of them are accurate. I know some of them aren't precise. And let's say the user inputted 30. Then the program would run all the way through without ever hitting one of these choices to be true so it would go to this else and else is pretty much if nothing else was true then we go to else that's why it's called else and at else it will print invalid choice and then it will print the choice number next we see this print bye bye and notice how it's on the same indentation line as the ifs and elifs and else that simply means that this print will happen no matter what. This print right here, second to last line, will only happen if the user inputs something that's not one of the choices. But this one right here, this print, bye bye, will come up no matter what. Now that's a pretty simple 
program as well and I guess we could run it real quick um, let me let me just run it and I named it as select I think and notice how it gives me this menu and I can choose whatever I want enter choice number three enter lengths and inches and we know that 12 inches is around 30 centimeters and then it will print out bye bye so that was my first tutorial out of my series of tutorials I'm hoping to get more advanced later on but I wish you guys would comment to let me know what I should make my video my next videos about thanks